Remember the last time you were stuck in traffic for hours on end? Horrible, right? But what if overloaded intersections, tunnels, bridges, and roads all together could be left behind? Imagine your daily commute cutting through the airspace in a zero-emission, fully autonomous manner. Well, this is an incredible reality that electric VTOLs, aka flying cars, are promising us in the foreseeable future. Today we'll explore the most capable models from the countless prototypes and concepts. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and join us on a journey to the unknown. Enjoy your flight! Joby Initially funded by the Gorillapod creator Joe Ben Pervert, Joby Aviation has grown from a garage-incubated startup to a formidable company with 700 employees and established partnerships with Toyota and Uber. Their project is a tilt-rotor aircraft that is flown by six propellers on its V-tail and fixed wing. The model is capable of VTOL and horizontal flight, and it is designed to carry four passengers and a pilot. In the last year, Joby went public, while its full-scale pre-production prototype completed a successful 150-mile flight on a single charge, spending 77 minutes in the air. The company also obtained certification for the second prototype, so in 2022, it plans to double the time spent in the air. This should quicken the development process and allow the final version of the air taxi to reach 200 miles cruising speeds and to be 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter. Jetson Aero After four years of development, the first production model by the Swedish company Jetson is ready to make the sky available to everyone. The brand's aluminum and carbon fiber aircraft is propelled by eight electric motors that deliver a total of 120 horsepower and allow it to accelerate to 63 mph. The battery of undisclosed capacity will juice the motors for 20 minutes of flight, while charging takes only one hour from a 220-volt socket. Even with the early prototypes, the Swedish company attempted to address the VTOL's major concern, which is safety. As a result, Jetson 1 features a race car-inspired cage cell, a triple redundant flight computer, and a modern LiDAR sensors throughout. In case of emergency, it can hover without your involvement, and there is an integrated ballistic parachute with rapid deployment time. The price tag for this marvel is 92,000 bucks, but the company already has just a few slots left for 2023. Archer Aviation Maker This Palo Alto startup has been operating under the radar all the way until they had a working demonstration aircraft that has already completed the first hover test on December 16, 2021. This is the 118th anniversary of the day when the Wright brothers first took to the skies. The actual production version of the Maker is likely to be a four-seater, but for the purpose of autonomous flight testing, they built a two-passenger flyer with 12 motors and propellers, vertically integrated 75 kWh battery, and a lightweight composite structure. This VTOL has multiple operational redundancies, like four flight computers and two altitude sensors, claiming zero points of catastrophic failure. When in flight, the Archer Maker makes just 45 decibels of noise, yet it cruises at 150 miles per hour and can cover the range of 60 miles. The cabin has ample legroom, ergonomic seats, 270-degree view, and a 13-inch passenger display. Air 4 In 2021, one of Renault's timeless classics, the 4 hatchback, turned 60. For this occasion, the French car maker teamed up to the Arsenal Design Center and recreated the model as an all-electric flying car capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Instead of using an original Renault 4, they built a similar-looking body from carbon fiber. It has four doors, but these are sealed shut, and entry into the cabin is made possible by its entire body lifting upwards. The propulsion system consists of four rotors with propellers that are powered by several 100 volt batteries with a total capacity of 9 kWh. Renault promises that the prototype will be able to climb at 31 mph, reach altitudes of 2300 feet, and speed of 56 mph. For now, however, it was only demonstrated to hover above the ground and to climb at the rate of 9 mph. Volo City and Volo Connect 
According to the record books, the world's first manned flight of an electric multicopter was completed by the Volocopter VC-1 in 2011. Since then, the German enterprise has gotten close to running a legitimate air taxi and delivery business in Dubai, plus the eye to expand the lineup with larger aircraft. Next in the engineering pipeline is the Velocity, which is a larger version of the original prototype Volocopter 2X. It has 18 independent motors pushing 18 fixed rotors that acoustically operate within a narrow frequency range, thus lowering the noise to just 75 decibel. With two seats and 440 pounds of payloads, it can cruise at the speed of 69 miles per hour with 22 miles of range. Lastly, the flagship product of the Volo IQ Air Operation Intelligence System is the Volo Connect. It is a fixed-wing aircraft that utilizes two propulsion fans plus six electric motors and rotors. This lift and cruise design allows for passengers to cover routes up to 60 miles at the average speed of 110 mph. We are an automotive channel, but if you enjoy our occasional coverage of aircraft, make sure to like this episode and leave a comment saying I want more. We will definitely deliver. Let's keep rolling. Lilium Jet Established in 2015, German Lilium had quite humble beginnings, but it did not stop them from developing the jet aircraft from the ground up. In 2021, the company even entered the US stock market via a reverse merger with the Quell Acquisition Corp, who valued them at $3.3 billion. At this time, the Lilium jet belongs to the fifth generation of the aircraft. It is a fully operational five-seater prototype that uses the proprietary technology of ducted electric vector thrust. 36 electric jet engines that are integrated into the wing flaps provide better aerodynamic efficiency, lower noise, and increase payloads. Next in line is the development of the most economically viable version of the Lilium jet, which is a seven-seater. It will have an incredibly spacious and luxurious cabin, will cruise at 10,000 feet with 175 miles per hour speed, and shall have 155 miles of service range. Zuri VTOL Capitalizing on the rich history of the Czech aircraft industry, this new startup will be trying to change air mobility with a new generation VTOL model propelled by hybrid power. At this time, the company has built and tested several small prototypes, while in November 2021 we saw the first flying footage of the large-scale demonstrator hovering 10 feet off the ground. When it reaches production, the Zuri is seen to have a 40 feet wingspan, a carbon fiber composite fuselage, and a maximum takeoff weight of 4,400 pounds. The company tells us that it will seat four and will have full self flying skills. Its VTOL capabilities will be ensured by eight electric motors with large rotors, and the horizontal flight will be made possible by the next generation hybrid system based on a single turboprop engine. SkyDrive This is the first EVTOL developer from Japan to reach the type certification stage in a bid to present their product at the 2025 World Expo in the Osaka Bay. SkyDrive has built the SD-03 as a single-person demonstrator with the potential for all-electric door-to-door transportation, including emergency rescue applications. It has extremely humble specifications of 5 to 10 minutes flight time and just 30 miles per hour top speed. However, the final product, codenamed SD-05, is expected to have capabilities close to those of the SD-XX concept. Namely, the maximum takeoff weight of 1,100 pounds, two-passenger carrying capacity, and endurance of 20 to 30 minutes. With a cruise speed of 62 miles per hour, this should be enough to cover about 19 miles. Xpeng X2 since the Chinese X-Pang is a manufacturer of electric cars, their product actually looks and acts like a flying car rather than a personal multi-copter. In terms of dimensions, the 8 propellers 8 electric motors X-Pang 2 is also much closer to conventional autos, measuring 15.7 feet in width and nearly 16 feet in length. 
With a full carbon fiber fuselage, the x 2 weighs under 800 pounds, but can carry a maximum takeoff weight of over 1200 pounds. Up to two passengers can enjoy nearly 35 minutes of flight time with a maximum flying speed of 81 mph. The Chinese manufacturer is yet to provide full technical details about the model, but a short cabin footage reveals a digital instrument cluster for each passenger and a mid-mounted tablet most likely surfing as an infotainment screen. Opener Black Fly the Palo Alto-based Opener Aero currently develops the world's first ultralight fixed-wing all-electric BTOL. It gets a carbon fiber reinforced epoxy fuselage, while its shape could be easily confused with a UFO. Unlike many VTOLs, the Black Fly is not using ducted fans, tilting rotors or a tilt wing to ascend. Instead, the entire aircraft changes pitch. To comply with the national regulations, it offers two configurations. American One gets an 8 kWh battery, 25 miles of range, and 62 mph speed. The rest of the world enjoys 40 miles of flight and 80 mph cruising velocity. In 2021, the model completed its first unmanned and manned public demonstrations and secured certification as an ultralight aircraft, so you will not need an FAA pilot's license. We should also mention that the company plans to supply the Black Fly fully ready for flight but it can also be disassembled for storage or transportation. Tetra EVTOL This Japanese startup was created some four years ago, and in that time it managed to build five personal mobility VTOL prototypes and even win Pratt & Whitney Disruptor Award with a $100,000 prize. At this year's EAA Air Venture Show, Tetra presented their latest fifth-generation design. It is lifted in the air by 32 electric propellers and a 13.5 kWh battery pack, while lateral propulsion is ensured by a single pusher propeller. In its construction, the model combines aluminum and carbon fiber reinforced plastic, while the control over the aircraft is exercised via a joystick with fly-by-wire. When ready for production, the single-seater should be able to fly for 100 miles, will speed to 100 mph and carry a 200-pound pilot. Tetra plans to sell the model as a home-built kit, and its mass production should begin sometime in 2022. Do you think that the future where electric VTOLs will be traversing the skies on a daily basis is even plausible? Do you think that ordinary people will be able to afford a flying car taxi? Let's talk this over in the comments section, and remember to leave a comment saying I want more if you want us to cover more aircraft on this channel. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and leave a like. As always, may the torque be with you!